Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Naninga Koei. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate it so much. For this video, we are doing a sad smoky eye. So to start off the video, we are just starting with foundation and I'm using the Maybelline Fit Me Foundation in the shade 352, which is Truffle Cacao. I'm just using a brush to apply this all over my face. And I'm going in with a beauty blender just to make sure that I, I remove any excess and blot out any excess. I think I've ever said in a previous video that this uh, Maybelline foundation might actually not be my shade because I normally feel like it's sometimes a bit too light. And next I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer in the shade Fawn. And I'm just uh, using it to define my eyes, my eyebrows and... I'm using it basically to uh, also highlight the areas that I need highlighted and also to conceal imperfections like dark circles around my eyes. I'm sure you're all wondering what is a sad smoky eye. A sad smoky eye is a, basically a smoky eye that looks as though you had put on good makeup or a good smoky eye but you ruined it by crying. It basically looks as though your, your eyeshadow is smudged. Let's just put it that way, like your eyeshadow is all over the place because you are crying. So that's the look we are going for. And I'm just using a brush to uh, clean out all the concealer or to blend it all out into the skin. And I'm just taking a contour brush and I'm going to pat uh, the, the rest of the concealer in. And of course, if you want a more refined look, you have to use a beauty blender just to remove the excess and to make sure that your uh, concealer is fully blended into the skin. Next, I'm going to use the LA Girl High Definition Primer in the shade White. Unfortunately, it, it broke during this application, but you just apply it. It's like a creamy consistency. You apply it and then you brush it off or you pat it into the skin. So as you can see in this step, I'm just using a brush to pat it in. Basically, I'm, I'm not even patting it in, I'm brushing it in. But you can pat it in, you can brush it in, whatever, for as long as it's fully blended. I'm just taking this Miss Rose Matte Eyeshadow Palette and I'm, using, I'm taking that brown shade that you've seen. And I'm using it as a transition shade and I'm just applying it into the crease of my eye. Using the same Miss Rose palette, I'm just going to take this black eyeshadow and I'm going to apply that black eyeshadow on the outer corners of my eye. So I'm, I'm applying it on both the outer and the inner corners of my eye. So if you want to look as, as though our eyeshadow is smudged, you just have to like transfer one side to the other side. One, one color to the other, from one side to the other side so that it may look as though you are rubbing your eyes. I'm just taking this uh, white eyeshadow. It's a shimmer eyeshadow, metallic shimmer eyeshadow from the Ely Colors cosmetic palette. In the the palette is called Wine and Roses. Yeah, and it's just a white shimmery color. I'm using a brush to apply it uh, on the brow bone so that it can highlight my brows. 
seriously guys so much is going on in the world that i i was so so sad when i was filming actually i got this idea because i was feeling sad and i was like what can i actually do like because i'm feeling so sad and i just thought why not do a sad smoky eye because i'm feeling sad and now um i'm just taking the miss another miss rose palette this one has shimmery colors and i've just taken a gray shimmery color and i'm just applying it in the center of my eyelid at the top and then next i'm taking a white shimmery eyeshadow from the same palette and i'm just applying it in the center of my eyelid the bottom part of the center of my eyelid and now i'm just taking a brush and i'm just going to blend it all out but i'm not going to blend uh, until the center i'm just going to leave like the white colors to to be there so that it may appear as though i transferred the black it was that the inner corner of the eye was supposed to be white but i transferred the black to the inner corner of the eye through crying or whatever i was doing and i'm also taking the black shade and making sure that i apply like um extend it all the way to my lower eyelid i'm not applying it on my waterline i applied the black shade on on my lower eyelid and what i'm doing on my waterline is i'm applying a clean color eye pencil in the shade forest green these clean color eye pencils were discontinued but because i've had them for the longest time in my collection and i really love them i was unable to get rid of them so that clean color pencil has like some shimmery um specks in it and i'm just taking this uh nyx cosmetics contrast is it called yeah contour stick and i'm just using it to clean up the area so because uh, there was a bit of fallout and also the the black eyeliner had smudged all over the place so i'm just kind of like straightening it out a bit Then for the setting powder, I'm just going to use the Sasha Buttercup setting powder and I'm just applying it uh, on the areas that I concealed. Yeah, to set the concealer. And I'm just using a beauty blender to do this. So as the setting powder is setting, I'm going to take a, a highlighter and I'm using the Maybelline Master Chrome highlighter in the shade Molten Gold. I'm just using it to to highlight my lips before I apply the lipstick. Next, I'm just taking this Luron lipstick. Luron is a really, really cheap Kenyan brand. Yeah, I believe it's made in Kenya. And uh, yeah, their lipsticks are not so bad. It's just that they, they come off really, really easily. But this is just a cream lipstick. It has a sheen to it and it's in the shade dark chocolate. Although in my opinion, it looks more of a burgundy than a dark chocolate. But usually depends on the lighting. And then on the center of my lips, I'm just applying this L'Oreal uh, lipstick in the shade Rasputin Me, which is a really bright orange uh, red. It's labeled as a matte lipstick, but it, it has a cream finish and it doesn't dry down. So I don't know if it's still a matte, but as you can see, it has a sheen to it. And finally, I'm just taking my brush and I'm removing the excess setting powder. And I'm just using a dark brown eyeshadow to contour my nose. I don't know if it's very visible, but uh, that's what I'm using. And I'm just contouring the sides of my nose, making it look slimmer. And I'm just taking a brush to like uh, brush out that that co that contour up shade that I've used. And then using the Maybelline Master Chrome for um, highlighter again, I'm just using it to highlight the, the bridge of my nose and also the tip of my nose.
I'm also using it to highlight my cheekbones. Um, and then I'm just taking a bronzer shade and I'm just applying it all over my cheekbones just below just to like um, reduce the intensity of the highlight because I'm seeing it's too much. So guys, this is the final product. This I was supposed to look as though I was crying my heart out and uh, yeah, I smudged my mascara all over the place. So this is the sad smoky eye. It actually depicts what I was feeling today and everything that's happening in 2020 but we still have hope for a better future and I'll see you in my next video.